Hi, this is Dr. Pan. Welcome to my math channel. Today we have a really interesting problem here. I said find some of the following geometric sequence. And here's the geometric sequence. Now obviously there is a big long hairy formula if you want to use it. It says the sum is equal to 1 minus r a1 minus a1 to the r to the n plus 1. Shift it over here a little bit. And you are here, of course, it's half because if you divide each term, you'll see the uh, ratio between each term is a half. Okay. Uh, you can use this big long hairy formula. A more interesting way is to say where is that coming from? Okay. If we call this Sn as the sum of this whole thing, now watch the magic happens. If I times half to this original Sn, then each one of the term gets shifted. So one half times one becomes half, which is directly corresponding to the term right under it, right? And a half times half becomes a quarter, and so on and so forth, until you get one more term near the very end, which is going to be half times n plus one. Okay. Now why do we do that? Well, here's the trick. If I subtract the two, submissions. Okay, then on the left hand side I have Sn minus half of Sn. Now remember Sn is what I really wanted. Okay, the first term has nothing to subtract so it becomes 1. It's left alone. Everything else conveniently disappears except the very last term I have half of n plus 1 left. Okay, now, two more steps, we're right there. So Sn, 1 minus this half is equal to 1 minus half to the n plus 1. Okay. Sn is our original sum. So Sn is equal to 1 minus half n plus 1 divided by 1 minus half. Okay. Isn't the math powerful here? Now, bottom here is half, so we're going to have 2 times y minus half of m plus 1. Okay, So here's the closed form of our, our original geometric sequence. All right, have a confident day. Hope this helped.